this problem we're going to do inverse functions. So we want to find out what the inverse function is. And it's denoted by this f to the negative 1 of x. Now with inverse functions, you're going to rewrite this. Instead of f of x, it's going to be y. Then your next step is to switch to x and y. So I'm going to we have a y here, I'm going to change that to x. I'm going to change this x to y. Okay, and after that, I'm going to solve for y. Alright, so I'm going to add 7 to both sides. Divide both sides by 3. And I'm going to move it over here so 3y divided by 3 is just y. It's going to be x plus 7 over 3. Now, if you look at our original problem, if x equals 3x minus 7, that's a line, your mx plus b, so we want to write our inverse one as a a line. So we're going to separate this out. It's going to be one third x plus seven thirds. So with inverse functions, switch to x and y, and then solve for y. Uh, let's take a look at another one. All right. So here's another inverse function. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to write it with a y instead of f of x. swap the x and y's, so y becomes x, and you get 2y over y minus 1. Alright, so I'm going to cross multiply x times y minus 1. Okay, equals 2y. I'm going to multiply this left side out. Give me x times y minus x equal to 2y. All right, so I'm getting everything to the left side here. xy minus 2y minus x equals 0. And I'm going to factor out the y here in the first two uh, terms. Alright, from then I'm going to add x ooh, to this side. Uh, let me put it over here. to get y by itself, so I'm going to divide by x minus 2. So y is going to equal x over x minus 2. And that is the inverse function. find the inverse function. So we're going to change that to change the f of x to a y. All right, then we're going to switch to x and y's. And then we're going to solve for y. Now, when y is under the square root, you need to square both sides to get rid of the square root sign. Remember, if you square a square root, it's really a square root of x times square root of x, which becomes 
the square root of x squared. And the square root of something squared is just equal to x. So I'm going to get x squared on this side and get y minus 2 on this side. So now we want to solve for y. I'm going to add 2 to both sides. So x squared plus 2 is equal to y. Now I'll just turn around and put it in our normal way. So y is equal to x squared plus 2. So this is the inverse 